Hi, I'm Paul Higgins from Build, Live, Give, and I want to give you some practical advice on some actions to take to combat the global pandemic. So a disclaimer, I'm not a medical or financial expert. Please seek people who are. I only share my personal experiences. So why? Prepare for times to get tougher. COVID-19 will definitely get worse before it gets better. I constantly keep in contact with my specialists. I'm immune suppressed and I need to keep updated. And they're saying that it could be at least, or the earliest would be December for a vaccine to come out. So we'd all love it a lot sooner than that. Now, the good news is that typically if you get it once, it'll only last 14 days. And also it's unlikely you only get it a second time. And 18% of the deaths at the moment are above 80. So there's five deaths known in Australia at the moment. And of those five, three were in the same nursing home. So, and they were all above the age of 80. So, you know, it's it's definitely a controllable risk. Everyone handles stress completely differently. So you'll get clients that react differently to what you are doing and vice versa. And, you know, face-to-face is already declined, so that'll continue. And also there's potential of homeschooling, which make will make times a little tougher. Be positive about the future, though. It will end. So one year, if it lasts one year, at the worst, it's 1.2% of an average life span, which is, you know, 80 years or 78 uh, 78 years. Changes you make will help future years. And it's also a brilliant time to unite and help each other. So, you know, hang in there. It will improve. So how? What are we doing? So the first thing is look after yourself. Okay, so avoid... Cl- crowds where possible, wear gloves in public places, focus on the five energy drivers to keep your immune system up, talk to significant others about the impact that it's having on them, especially if you've got elderly parents or grandparents, and talk to your financial advisor if you are really nervous about your personal finances. So your time, be ruthless with this time. Focus on content production if you've got some spare time which you'll get value from before, and you should focus on at least 70% or 75% of your time on sales and marketing and on clients. Delegate to your virtual assistant or VA. It's a brilliant time to let go. And if you don't have one, it's a great time to get one to train them up for when times will be good again. And take some time off. Don't fight it. Don't feel guilty. If work's quiet, please, you know, take some time off. So sales, firstly, your existing clients, most important. Get on the front foot and ask clients how it is impacting them. Really understand it. See how you can help them. Also, make sure that you're doing everything to support them and tell them how you're supporting them. And for ideal clients, give them reduced rates for longer term agreements. There may have to be some compromise on both sides to get this through. Next is new sales. So remove all the leads which are not your ideal clients. I had a massive purge where I was still following up on people that weren't ideal. Set aside time to follow up though each and every day. Keep marketing. Even at Coca-Cola in our bad times, we always kept marketing. And I still think posting on LinkedIn for a B2B business is still the best platform to get new leads. And connect with people and leverage your network to help each other. Your business model, so it's pretty obvious for most of you, but you have to move to online, so it's a great time to test that model. Zoom for meetings and group training, I highly recommend. You can get the pro version, which I think is about $15, $14.99 or $95 USD a month, and you can achieve most of the things on Zoom. If you want to know more about how to use it, just contact us. And also, you can complement that with messaging platforms. So for example, WhatsApp, Voxer, or Facebook Messenger are great ways to communicate. Our preference is Voxer. Your operating costs, so target three months operating cash flow in the bank, and hopefully you've already got that for these tough times. Review all projects and keep only essential ones, and manage your experts based on those project decisions accordingly. Remove IT subscriptions. I just can't believe how many we had that we said we got rid of and we hadn't. So go back and review those. Review your debtors. So not don't just allow automatic messages. If someone's in trouble, like you said, you've you found out about it beforehand, but if someone is in trouble, go pick up the phone and speak to them. Team holidays. So if you've got a large team or a, a modest sized team, that's a good idea. And also there will be a reduction in your drawings because of your revenue going down. 
So just discuss that with family members or uh, members that are going to be impacted. I've already done that and cut my personal expenses accordingly. So summary, look after yourself first, ruthless with your time, sales focus on both existing and new, sales and marketing about 75% of your time, change your business model, brilliant time to do it, and cut operating costs. And I'm here to help you. So I've got 18 years experience at Coca-Cola and nine years of running my own business to draw on. You can email me at paul at buildlivegive.com. Follow my content on LinkedIn. I will be posting four times a week. And a problem shared is a problem halved. We are here to help. So you can go to paul at buildlivegive.com. So you can email me directly there or go to our website at buildlivegive.com. Thank you.